And uh, Representative Bossart Davis, uh, recognize you next. Uh, thank you, Chair Holby. I appreciate LCU being here. Um, colleagues, I think that we all try to see this through the eyes of our constituents. I certainly try to put myself into the boots of my constituents back home. Um, and also recognizing that we are in a closed building and everything that we do is um, this is the only way they can see what's happening to their life, um, oftentimes without them thinking that their voice is being heard whatsoever. Um, it is our job as elected officials to be responsive to our constituents. And as I'm listening to um, Elsie's explanation, my response is that OSHA is making law. And that's the problem is that some of these rules go beyond even the bills that have been introduced on related subjects this session. And so if I'm watching this and I'm listening to everybody talking, half of it I'm not understanding because I'm not a lawyer. And so I'm here to represent those people. And to me, I've never seen the level of engagement from the public on any subject ever. I get text messages, I get messages on Facebook, I get comments, I get emails, I get phone calls. It's unbelievable. I'm so shocked. I'm disappointed, frustrated that OSHA's not here today. If it was a miscommunication, if the intent wasn't clear, um, that's not directed at you, Chair Holby. I am frustrated they're not here to answer questions. I believe there's a checks and balances in our Separation of government, I understand, but there is a checks and balances and we need to maintain that even more so in a pandemic, even more so in a closed building. OSHA not being here today, to me, shows the public they are too big, they are too powerful to be concerned with the hundreds of thousands of Oregonians that are absolutely dismayed with this rulemaking process. Um, I'm frustrated. I wish they were here to answer questions. I believe in a checks and balances system that we live under and um, um, I, hoping we can follow up in some way to get some of these questions to OSHA on the record. Thank you, Mr. Chair.